Today we're playing with these cute autumn themed items to make a lovely piece of home decor. Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today for this video. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a current subscriber, welcome back. So I've had to redo this video with new audio. Um, a few weeks ago there was this in incredibly incredibly gorgeous hop that was going on which was all about autumn decor and um, unfortunately I had filmed my video but I hadn't completed the editing and I ended up in hospital with my positive COVID-19 test so I wasn't able to do it so what I've had to do is just take all of the audio off this and re-record it because I didn't want to waste this because I love 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 how these turned out but obviously I couldn't be part of the hop unfortunately I will leave a link down below to the hop so you can go and see it if you've missed it already. So I got these circular chipboard pieces from Every Crafts a Pound and then I got myself some beautiful burlap and I'm just wrapping the rings so I'm putting glue on the back when my glue gun will behave um, putting glue on the back and just wrapping this burlap around it. Now on my fingers I have got some rubber thimbles. You can buy finger protectors for using hot glue but I have these from work, from old things that I used to do when I used to work in an office. So I use them because they're basically the same thing. They're just not quite as long. The finger protectors tend to go further down your fingers, whereas obviously these are only fingertips. So I'm going to carry on. I'm going to wrap this the whole way around the ring. I'm not going to show you all of it because you will get bored. Um, so I did the large one all the way around. I also did a smaller one because this came as a pack of two with a large and a small so I decided that I would do both of them but I'm not going to show you me wrapping the small one it's exactly the same process so I just put the glue on wrap it round stick it on and go I put it nice and tight at the front and then I attach it to the glue on the back and it has stayed really really nice and tight it's brilliant so here are my two finished rings I have the large and the small they were tied together with this little bit of twine so what I've done is I've cut it in half and just made a small hanging hook for both the large and the small. I wanted this to be really, really hidden. And so it's the same sort of colour as the burlap and it hides really well behind it. So now they both hang like so. I picked out a few different bits and pieces. So I've got this beautiful set of autumn leaves. They go from very green, green and yellow, green and orange, orange to, yet to red, red to purple and then purple to brown. So I just picked out sort of the in-between shades so I've got the greeny orange the red and then the purpley brown and I've just picked out a few leaves of each color to go on each ring obviously the larger ring will need more leaves I then found that I was pulling out way too many leaves because they were stuck together you know how bits of paper will stick or bits of confetti will stick together that's what the le these leaves were doing so I had far more than expected so I chose the leaves that I wanted I arranged them around my rings and tried to figure out a nice sort of pattern now on the little one you'll see I did one green leaf and I don't like doing it because it's not completely symmetrical but actually I think it works beautifully in this sort of situation um, it did take a lot of concentration for me to leave it on there and not replace it with a red one but I do think it works well then I'm going to just take them slightly off the ring I did try and do it while they were all still there and it was a bit of a fiddle to try and get them under each other so what I ended up doing was I just moved the leaves outside the ring where they were. So same, sorry about the back of my head. Same design, just pulled them off and then I've glued them all on. And I'm just gluing that central vein in the leaf, the long one at the centre. I'm only putting glue there, which means the sides can lift up and down. So I can tuck things under, I can move things around. There you go, so I'm tucking that under a leaf that's already stuck down. And then I can just fiddle with them a lot more easily and add all my other bits and pieces if I only stick down the centre. So I'm going to leave this in a second and I'm going to stick the leaves on the large one as well. It's exactly the same process. You don't really need to watch it. You could just stick them on straight away. I just like to make sure I like the pattern before I do because I do have a, a bit of a perfectionist tendency. So I've got those stuck down. I'm going to do the same for the large one. So there is our large one complete. And now I'm going to start adding my autumn themed pieces. So I have some dried orange. They smell so good. Um, <laughs> so I got two of those. I got some little um, acorns. These are not real acorns. 
these are unfortunately plastic acorns i could not get any real ones dried it was really frustrating um, they were a ridiculous price and because i've not been able to go out and collect any myself this year i didn't have any acorns so i've done another orange up at the top just to give that that power of three the triangle design i made a little bow for each wreath using the same um burlap that i wrapped them in i'm then going to stick on a couple of pine cones on the side I did sneak in, I didn't show you it because my head was in the way, two little red berries at the top. And now we can move on to the small one. And the small one I'm doing more of a Halloween wreath because I do love my Halloween. Um, so I've got these tiny little broomsticks which I'm going to stick on. And I knew I wanted three but I couldn't figure out how I was going to do the top one yet. So I've stuck the two on the side. And then we've got our little berry down at the bottom which I thought was very cute on top of the purple leaf. I got some... Um, acorns as well which I stuck near the broom handles so apart from the leaf this one is a lot more symmetrical and then I've got a little orange that I'm going to put up at the top and the broomstick I discovered I wanted it to hang down through the middle and I'm really pleased with that I love how it looks I then put the orange over the top of the handle I added a few extra bits and pieces that I have made myself so as you can see on this large one there is a little purple pumpkin over the top of the bow at the top there um, the back you can see has all the glue so the front is quite nice so I've got the three orange peels I've got three of the berries two acorns two pine cones and then over the bow I did that little purple resin pumpkin and then on the small one I did the three brooms I did two acorns and the berry I also did three pumpkins so I did the purple one at the top two orange and then I did a little resin witch's hat on the the broom end of the broomstick and I absolutely adore these so I'm just going to show you some pictures of them in more detail so you can see a few bits and pieces and then yeah we are done thank you so much for spending time with me today guys I really really appreciate it please give this video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and I will catch you next time keep crafting guys bye